it's fall, which means it's time for those beautiful fall hikes, but it also means the temperatures are starting to dip. In this video, I'll share a few of my tips on how to hike warm in the fall seasons. Hey everyone, welcome to the backcountry. My name's Jesse and on this channel, I'm all about getting beginners backpacking by offering the tips and tools you'll need to be backcountry forward. <laughs> Everyone loves hiking in the fall. You get those beautiful fall colors. Here in the Canadian Rockies, the large trees start turning that golden yellow. But there's something else that happens. The temperatures dip. Here, it can range from anything from 75, like it was yesterday, to highs of 50 in the middle of the day. The evenings get even chiller, and when that wind picks up, you'll wanna make sure you're staying warm. So, what do I do when I'm in the mountains or anywhere to stay warm? The key is layers. Layers are key for backpacking and hiking all season long, but especially in the shoulder months. And there's two or three pieces of gear that I highly recommend you add to your shoulder season system that will keep you just a little bit warmer. So let's start from the bottom up. First things first, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have good supportive footwear. And if you know that there's gonna be some snow or some wetness on the trail, you may wanna get something that's waterproof. For me, I prefer trail runners and that's a personal choice. But underneath those shoes, you're gonna want socks. I recommend two layers of socks. A liner sock, something like a merino wool liner sock from Fox River, which is what I'm using. And then another layer of socks, something preferably merino wool, will also add that extra warmth. And that's the first piece of gear I would recommend adding to your fall wardrobe an extra pair of socks. In the cool fall air, clothing dries out a little less fast, and if you get wet feet, you're gonna want something dry to change into. So adding an extra pair of socks will keep your feet warm and dry. Plus, if you're still cold, even with the liner and the regular sock, you have an extra sock that you can put on top for a little bit more warmth. And then of course, you're gonna want a good pair of pants. These are the Outdoor Vitals Satu pants, which I have been using all season long and loving. I've tested out a few other pants this season as well, and I keep coming back to these ones. What I like about them is that they keep me warm and cool whenever that temperature changes. So I really enjoy them. Underneath those, you're gonna wanna have a pair of leggings and thermals that you can put on if you need them. You may not need them during the middle of the day, but in the cooler evenings, they'll definitely come in handy. What's neat about these Outdoor Vitals Dragon Wool's thermals is that they have a zipper along the sides of each of the legs so that you actually don't have to take off your shoes and pants to take off your thermals, so that's really handy. Now let's talk base layer. This is a polyester shirt that I got from Costco and it is so soft. I've been using it hiking all year round. I really recommend it. Other people prefer a long sleeve base layer and I would recommend that, but I like a t-shirt and then something that's in between a base layer and a mid layer that I put on over top if I need some extra warmth. For me, that looks like the Outdoor Vitals Dragon Wool hoodie, which again is super thin, so it's just enough as that in-between of a base layer and a mid layer, while also keeping me warm because it's a blend of synthetic and merino wool on the inside. I've really been enjoying this fabric all summer long and I even sleep in this hoodie. The second piece of gear I recommend that you add to your shoulder season wardrobe is a warmer mid layer. During the summer months, I can get away with this and a puffy, but during those colder shoulder seasons, I want something a little warmer, something like a fleece or a pullover. This is a Polar Tech fleece that I just got from 66 Degrees North, an Icelandic company that's just started selling in North America. I'm putting it through the ringer on this trip and a few trips ahead, and I'll keep you guys posted on how it's doing. But so far, it's been keeping me really warm. In fact, warmer than I ever would have expected considering how light it is and how well it breathes. It's a great balance so far, but I'll keep you posted on the final tips. The next couple pieces of gear also come from 66 Degrees North, and I'm really excited about them. They are my new down puffy as well as the toque they sent me. The core with these is you want something that's going to add the extra insulation when the temperature really starts to dip. Oh, and I forgot to mention, toque, right, yes, toques are great. Keep your heads warm. You want something that's extra thick on the ears so you don't have to bring those earmuffs on the side. 
I'm really happy with this because it also has a wind protection screen right where your ears are. So far, so good. But like I said, that third piece of gear that you're gonna want to keep you warm is a hard shell. And for me, that's my rain jacket, which also works as an awesome windbreaker. I got this from Eddie Bauer. It is super ultra light and I love using it. When I'm going day hiking, I have a little bit of a heavier, thicker hard shell that I would recommend, especially as the season gets a little bit colder because this doesn't add much extra warmth. But what it does do is it keeps the wind out. It keeps all the air and insulation that's there in its place, keeping me really toasty warm. In fact, right now, I'm a little bit too hot. So let's take this off. So those are the three things you should add to your shoulder season hiking attire. Extra socks, you'll want a warmer mid layer that can go on top of your base layers, as well as a good hard shell, whether that's a rain jacket or a windbreaker or something even thicker when it's getting really cold. And of course, you're gonna want a toque and gloves to keep your head and your hands warm. Now, if you're concerned about sleeping warm in those shoulder seasons, you can click this playlist here of two videos that I've put together as a cold sleeper myself and how I stay warm even in the winter months. I hope to see you guys in the next one and remember, keep moving forward.